Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. I've just re-wet that little peninsula of land there. Once again, I'm moving into the raw sienna. Take some of the green again. There's a little bush or something here and it's just nondescript kind of thing. Prince Ultramarine and Burnt Umber once again. This one's quite dark. Just want to pull this out and bring it forward more than the others. Pull some back. Then I'm going to take some of the really bluey dark green and then we'll start to put some tree tops in. And I'm just using the tip of my river brush to create the tree. Don't have them all on the same level. Just going to take some of the Prince Ultramarine and Burnt Umber, a real dark, and just drop some of this in. Just attaching these to the ground. Right, so these over here. Make them all different sizes. to a little bit of a bigger brush. Just taking some of the French salt marine and burnt umber and dropping that in. Just gives it a little bit more dark. A little water touched the underneath of the tree. Hopefully it should drift down. There's very little paint there so we'll have to add some. All helps to shape the land shadow. And we might have to make these a little bit taller as they are closer. Just put the tops in with the rigger then we'll move on to the other brush. And as the paint is still wet here we will just leave it a minute two to dry before we can put the rest of the tree trunks in and attach them to the ground. You see I'm spreading the tips of the brush out. And Sultramine and Burnt Umber once again. Quite strong in this because I want to bring it quite forward. Just drop it in the middle and allow it to drift out into the wet paint. And then we're going to have to leave that to dry for a moment. Back to the tree trunks. Drop a little of extra paint in. A tiny bit of water on the brush and just catch the bottom of the tree. Difficult with it being so. 
so the tree's been so small, so we'll add a little bit. I'll just soften that out. And then, and for some deep shadow underneath, and salt marine and burnt umber. I'm just going to take some of the raw sienna, and I want this almost dry, so I'm going to take most of the paint off. Side of the brush, I want to bring it across this lake, little bits in between, and it just adds a little bit of sparkle onto that back edge where the water is. So, some might be coming through there. Take some of my dark green, turn this into a bushes here, a bit of growth. Now I'm going to let that edge dry and then we'll get around to finishing it off with the water. Now that it's dry, I've just re-wet the whole or nearly all of the lake area. Some cobalt blue and burnt sienna, but I've added some more blue to it just to make it a little bit bluier. And I'm just bringing the sparkle down here and straight into the water and hopefully we'll get a transition. I'm going to take a bigger brush. All horizontal strokes, the board is laying flat. Sienna. Just gonna thicken that up slightly. And I don't mind if I get green, to be honest. You'll hardly see that in a moment. Just take some of the murky colour. Creates a land reflection. See the raw sienna nearly disappears. Pull it down slightly. So I want to take some of the dark green and drop this in here. Make sure I put four in and not five. Can throw you a bit that. French ultramarine and burnt umber. We can drop this in the centre. And then we're going to leave all that to dry. 
I'm just putting some wind streaks in with a craft knife and a ruler. I've done a couple. It's always nice if you do it through the, the dark areas, but don't do a lot. And I'm just going to put the last one in at about here. And then maybe a couple of birds. One wheeling around here. And you get around to a nice bit. When you've finished, you can sign it, put a mount around it and frame it and then hang it on the wall. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click the like button, leave a comment. It all helps with uh, YouTube's algorithm. I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.